Now, today's major story and bad news for the pounds in our pockets. Energy bills set to rise by nearly £700 a year for the average household after the regulator raised the price cap by a whopping 54%. Customers will now be spending an average of nearly £2,000 a year on their energy bills. On top of that, interest rates are going up too. Let's get some analysis to that from Liam Halligan, our economics editor. Liam. Good to be with you, Gloria, from a blustery seaside front in Blackpool. We're here for GB News North West Week. It's an iconic resort, but with the best will in the world, it's one of the less prosperous parts of the country. And we're going to be get, getting reaction to this news, as you say, of a really hefty hike in energy bills for households, with many people having to choose, we're told, between heating and eating. Chancellor Rishi Sunak stood up in the House of Commons and he announced a major package of measures designed to help households that are struggling, not just those households on benefit, but also people who are working and struggling to make ends meet. He's talking about a £300 rebate on energy bills, taking the edge off that almost £700 increase, but that won't kick in until October, and you'll have to pay for it from your future energy bills. Plus, there's a council ta tax discount of £150 for households in bands A to D. So rather than the interest rate cut that we've been campaigning for on GB News, the Chancellor has chosen to target help on those who need it most via council tax by giving that rebate that won't need to be paid back to ha homes with a lower, as we say, rateable value. Some Conservative MPs still very, very concerned and angry, actually, about that tax rise, which uh, they seem to be going ahead with in April. Absolutely, and even at a time, really, of pretty big economic duress for the nation. These increases in energy bills are scary for lots of households. Let's not beat about the bush. This interest rate increase, almost a secondary issue, an, an interest rate increase for 2.2 million households with a variable rate mortgage. Even at that moment, Rishi Sunak was still stressing the need for fiscal responsibility. As I say, the main bulk of this energy support package isn't a grant to households. It's a rebate. He's, the government is lending money to the energy companies, many of whom are making huge profits, in order for them to pass on that loan, if you like, to households. It seems to me very complex, difficult to get your head around, lots of tinkering going on, rather than what I would have preferred, which is a straight across the board VAT cut. But, you know, I'm just a humble reporter. I'm not the Chancellor. And finally, uh, food bills up, interest rates up, fuel bills up. When will it stop, Liam? Well, Gloria, you and I in our respective shows have been talking about the cost of living for many, many months. You with your political antenna, me looking at household finances. This has been a crisis a long time in the making. Plus, as you say, that national insurance contribution increase coming in in April as well for both employers and employees. So you won't only pay more tax on your wages, you might not get a wage rise to reflect a higher cost of living because your employer's paying more tax too. It strikes me, yes, there's lots of parliamentary theatrics about Downing Street parties, cake and so on, and those things are very, very important. But as always happens, the economy now is moving centre stage. Liam Halligan, enjoy the seaside and thank you so much for that update. Thank you, Liam.